So, my new Retina MacBook Pro has come. In fact, it's just over there. But, um, this is my old one. And I just wanted to show you guys the way uh, in which I keep all of my tech. Um, even though this is actually 18 months old, I think. Something like that. Maybe even older, maybe two years. Um, look at how clean the box is. It is literally immaculate. Uh, not a mark on it. And this is how I present my um sort of second hand tech if you like uh back to the people that that buy it because not only do you get a better value for it but it's also nice to kind of give them the experience that you got uh when you got it out so you can see it's all in the poly uh, the i don't know what you call that polythene plastic whatever it is uh the thing is there um it's absolutely immaculate uh, the only thing that's different is obviously that doesn't uh has been opened already and then everything is exactly back as it was when I first bought it. And I pretty much always buy new chargers as well. So that's a brand new charger in there. New cable, etc, etc. Um, the stickers are still in there. Everything is literally exactly the same as when it come. Even the little bit of paper is still between the keyboard and the screen um, back in there. And I, I just think that it's um, a nice way to kind of pass uh, the product on. Uh, to the next person so i literally keep all of the packaging uh, for all of it and keep it all nice and crisp and clean and everything like that and then when you sell it on uh, not only do you get like a slight bit better value for it but you also like i say give that next person a, a really nice experience so um it's come to the end of the day what is the time oh look i just checked my uh apple watch there so this is the one that I went for. Um, you will see the unboxing up on the main channel in the next couple of days. But um, it's the stainless steel one. And I opted for just the rubber strap. But then I also bought um, this as well, which is the uh, leather strap as well. Although I am quite tempted to take that back and swap it for the stainless steel one. Um, and then send it off and get it rose gold plated because <laughs> uh, I have found the company that does it. So yeah, very, very tempted to do that. So far, so good. Um, I'm not impressed by it, but what I will say is that it's quite nice just having the notification come through, glancing at it and just deciding not to do anything with it. Uh, if you do want to do anything with it, obviously the best thing to do really is pick up your phone and do something with it or go on the computer or something. Um, but it is quite nice to just have it go ding and you're like, oh, don't need to worry about that. Ding, oh, don't need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that. I'm very impressed with the way the screen uh, turns on and off as and when you're not using it. Very, very impressed uh, indeed. Um, there's a couple of cool things that I like. I like the... Uh, the withings uh, thing for my camera up in the living room I can actually live view it and also my um, Synology cameras are all around I've got four at the moment um, it sends me an alert on here when the front door one goes off which I like because it tells me when someone's at the front door um, before they've even rung the bell which is quite cool so yeah uh, a couple of little things like that I like I love that MacBook I absolutely love that 12 inch MacBook what a machine Oh, it's phenomenal. I know a lot of people go, oh, it's too slow, but there's no one heard of remote desktop. Um, you know, you, you don't need the power on that particular machine. You just remote desktop to this one or screens to this one or remote desktop to a Windows machine or something like that. If you want all that kind of power on that, to me, I, it's just an internet client. It's just for going on the internet, look, watching videos, um, bits and pieces, social networking, um, and for me, connecting up to remote computers absolutely fantastic i love it I, I literally love it um it's phenomenal very very happy with that very happy indeed i wish it had 16 gig of ram uh that would have been nicer but then i suppose the, the processor would never really have been able to deal with applications that would use that much memory so yeah um totally in love with it i, I really do think that is probably the best apple product i've seen for a long long time as you guys know i'm really more into macs than i am into the phones and stuff so for, to me a mac is a, a new mac is a really big deal but yeah um tempted to take this back because i think this strap was about 130 pounds believe it or not um and i think the stainless one i want is about 350 or 400 so that would obviously be a fair discount off of those uh prices so I'll kind of make my mind up on that. If I do that, I know I'm going to end up sending it off and getting it gold-plated. Uh, this rubber strap, though, very, very comfortable. Um, very comfortable indeed. So, 
I've still not decided if I'm going to keep it though, so perhaps I shouldn't do that. Although my thinking is, well, I've got it. Why am I going to send it back? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so um, what else have I got to tell you guys about? Again, I want to take my drone out, um, but I just ran out of time, unfortunately. I really wanted to take that out. Thank you for all of your responses, actually, about the uh, the racing drone thing, the little 250 size racing drones. Uh, very, very interesting indeed. Someone left a comment saying, I think it was... Um, I've forgotten the guy's name, but it was RC Immersion or Immersion RC uh, Vortex. That looks very, very good indeed. Uh, I very much like the look of that. The only issue with all that stuff is you've got to buy the controller and this and that and the glasses and everything like that. It's a shame you can't just buy the whole lot all in one go uh, because I imagine that that Vortex is going to be about... If you haven't seen it, by the way, Google it, guys. Very, very impressive little carbon fibre drone thing. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I might just have to make that investment. I'm not sure. Uh, but the whole drone thing, I love it, and I'd really like to get into that FPV racing where you put the goggles on and it's just like you're actually flying. Uh, so, so cool. Really, really like it. But there's so much to it. All of the firmware that goes on these devices and the customization and the versions and the way they all communicate. It's not like an Apple device where you just buy it and everything works. It's At the moment, it's all very kind of modular and comprehensive. It's quite complicated to, to begin to understand all of this stuff that they're all talking about but anyway i'm going to continue looking into it and uh, i think i might well have to uh delve into that because i just really fancy giving that a go but anyway i've talked too much um i did a few periscopes as well by the way when i've been driving so if you guys uh, are into the whole periscope thing which is basically like a live stream uh, be sure to follow me on uh, periscope make sure you go and do it because if you're not following, it doesn't notify you in any way that I'm live. So you need to be following to be notified that I'm live because uh, I don't sort of tweet it out or anything. So, yeah, follow me on there um, and that's it. I'll see you. Oh, I'm putting another video up on the main channel tonight. What a legend. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.